question 15 asks Kevin, asks Olivia what parallel lines are. Olivia responded, they are lines that never intersect. What important piece of information is missing from Olivia's response? The answer is the lines must be coplanar. Here's why. If we don't state that, they could never intersect. Can you see here? They don't intersect, but they are not parallel. They're called skew lines. So the answer is B. Question 16 asks us, James correctly proves it's the similarity of triangles DAC and DBA as shown. His uh, incomplete proof is shown. What is the missing reason for the seventh statement? If we follow through this process carefully, we will notice that we are proving, um, we get to the point where we can say, well, these uh, two angles are equal to 90 degrees. It's given based on the diagram. We can do some substitution to show that uh, this angle, the measure of angle ADC is also 90 degrees by subtraction. We can uh, identify that the given angles are congruent um, based on the definition of congruent angles, angle CAB and angle ADB, and, and that's definition of congruent, they have the same angle measures, right? That's what that's getting at. And then um, the same for CAB and ADC. Now we can go ahead and say uh, angles ABC and DBA are congruent by the reflexive property of congruence, ABC. A, B, C, and A, D, B. I'm sorry, D, B, A. D, B, A. Um, so the very next step indicates uh, that the triangles are similar, and we have demonstrated that two pairs of Angles are congruent, which would give us the reason of the angle-angle postulate. Next question, question 17, is asking the triangle ABC is reflected across the line Y equals 2X to transform, sorry, to form triangle RST. So these are some transformations. Um, this is, uh, sorry, it's a transformation. Select all the statements that are true. So the key here is that ABC is reflected across the line Y equals 2X. I just drew a sketch of that. Uh, it wasn't necessary, but got me started thinking about the problem. And, it, uh, and we formed triangle RST. So those two triangles would be congruent. It's just a, a transformation. There's no dilation there. So it asks, select all that are true. Would A be the measure of, or the length of A, B be equal to R, S? So those are located in the same location within those uh, letter arrangements, so that would be true. A, B equals 2, R, S. Well, that would, those could not both be true. Um, it would say that it's double the length. No, that's not true, so I didn't check it. The two triangles are similar, which this is a tricky one. They are similar. If triangles are congruent, they could also be called similar. So we did check that because, as I mentioned earlier, a simple reflection provides with congruent triangles. And next it says B, A, C. So look at that order. B is the middle, then bounces out to A, then C. It's congruent to R, or sorry, S, R, T. It's the angle measure, sorry, SRT. Yep, those are in the right order. Uh, their corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And then lastly, this is a similar to this B here. They're, it's not going to be double the measure. So there's question 17. Question 18 is actually asking what is the radius? That part was left off. What is the radius of the, tri of the circle? So I actually did this problem on a separate sheet of paper. A couple things we need to know. We need to know the equation, the formula for a circle. Standard form of an equation for a circle is 
x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h, k is the center of the circle, and r is the radius. Sort of obvious. So we're ultimately looking for the radius. So let's go ahead. This involves some algebra. We lay out the question. I just rewrote the question. Now, we need to spread it out in such a way where we group the x pieces together and the y pieces together. And we put, I put the 16. I subtracted it to get it onto the right-hand side. Next step, I'm drawing to mind what's called completing the square. When I have an equation written in standard form, I can apply this process, which I have this in standard form. I put a plus blank here for that C value I'm about to calculate. Completing the square. You can look up a Khan Academy video if you want to see more about that. To find out what goes here, I take the B value, divide it by 2, and square it. So in this case, I divided it by 2, and so I got negative 5 squared is 25. So I'm going to put that 25 here. Now, if I add a 25, I have to add it to the other side to keep it balanced. This is an equation. I'll do the same thing on the, on the, with the y values. I'm going to take the 8, divide it by 2, and square that, giving me 4 squared, which equals 16. I'm going to add a 16 here, so I have to add a 16 here. Aha! Could have kept the 16 here. <laughs> Those just cancel each other out, a, minus, a negative 16 and a positive 16. I could, I could finish this. I could write it in its full form of x minus, we put here the b over 2. Um, so it'll be minus 5 squared plus y. And the b over 2 would go here. Plus 4 squared equals 25. Or we could write that as 5 squared. This is the standard form. We've broken this down to the standard form. Now I know my radius is 5. Again, that may be a new concept for you. Feel free to look at more examples on, on um, equations of a circle in standard form. Completing the square was one of the steps in there. You might have learned that in Algebra 1. You might learn it in Algebra 2. Those are um, some key factors to completing this problem. So the last question asks us something we should be familiar with, which is a transformation. Triangle ABC is reflected across the line Y equals X. This initially didn't have my green marker, my pencil lines on here. It says use the triangle tool to create the triangle on the coordinate grid. So on your computer, there's tools you'll be using. Now, notice, uh, recall that when we're translating uh, we're doing a reflection over the line y equals x. We just switch for any given point the x and y values. So I labeled these values. So 2, 1, I just swap those. For, to get to c prime, I would put that at 1, 2, as you see I did here, at 1, 2. And for b prime, I, f I flip the 4 and the 1, and I land at 1, 4 here. And then same thing. A is here at 2, 4. I flip them. I land at 4, 2. And that is a reflection over the line Y equals X for the given triangle ABC. And that concludes the explanation of the questions for our practice geometry and, of course, assessment based on the questions released from the 2017 Ohio and, of course, test.